Hello traders, John at StockBookie.com. Today we're looking at the USO, the UUP, the GLD, the TLT, and the GDXJ. We follow the daily, weekly, monthly time frames. We use technical analysis here at StockBookie.com. If you like these videos, go to StockBookie.com, sign up for the free membership, or go to YouTube and subscribe. So let's get right to the daily chart of the USO. We were up six cents on the day, 0.65%. And, uh, you know, we had, we had a pretty nice day going on here, guys. Came right back in and pretty much stopped. We were up a little bit. Let's go to the 10 minute chart to see the intraday action. Yeah, so they gapped it up right at uh, 8 o'clock or so, my time that is, right back up, pulled back, came right back in, chopped around, a little bit up after, you know, right right when it's all said and done. Great bearish pattern here, though. But look at the action in the USO, guys. News, news, chop. And then it just closes and then it just chops. So right now, though, on the daily, a little bit weak. Great run, though, seven days up or eight days up. So you can't, you know, you got you to gotta respect that. So right now, guys, we had the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days up. One nice pullback, another nice chop. Now we're chopping in this inside bar, bearish pattern, uh, starting. Still above the 20, so still okay. If this thing chops around, though, in this lower range, then we're setting up possibly to come right back down. Got a couple gap, got a gap to fill here. Uh, gap, we didn't fill the gap there. And then, of course, we have double bottom. Short-term retrace. I mean, we almost came to the 5.0 retrace. We're still looking at the 50 MA up there. Let's take this off. Fibonacci. Let's go with a smaller retrace just to see where this thing's heading. So 382, that's where it bounced. We got back below the 250. So let's see if this thing can chop, chop, chop. The gap is right at 921. We just barely made it the other day. But back above the 20, like I said, let's see what this gives us on tomorrow's close and the next week's, uh, you know, give me four or five days on this one, then uh, maybe we could try to figure out where this thing's going. But what a great bounce off a of double bot or not double bottom, just an oversold condition. Boom. You know, you know, everyone's buying puts right here. Oh my gosh, here it goes. And then they just squeeze them for eight days. You know how it goes, guys, if you're trying to go short or buying puts in these markets on anything. As soon as there's enough of them, bam right in their face so uso guys nothing wrong nice retrace let's see what happens in the next couple of days or next week or so i'd like to see at least five six seven more days you know on this chart to see if it goes up bullish you got to get back above the 50 shoot for the 200 ma bearish go back below the 20 and start retracing down you got a couple gaps to fill but then you're going to test double bottom i still think we're going to 850 8 bucks 750 area but we'll have to see you know when we got this bounce it was like oh geez here we go but came right back in here and then now uh, let's see what happens when we chop around and go sideways and see what kind of pattern develops let's go into the uup uup right back down so we had a great great bull bearish here pop drop bearish pop drop pop right back down we're back below this low pivot i still think we're going to the 24 dollar area 2480 somewhere in here we have some more gaps to fill and stuff like that but this coming in here after this sort of a uh, consolidation on a uh, bearish pattern i think it's going to lead us at least to 24 bucks and possibly lower if that pattern fails and we start moving up big area here would be the trend line i'm going to extend that one and then you got the 200 MA, the 50 MA, and stuff like that. But right now, dollar is looking a little bit weak. Dollar down, oil should move up, and gold should move up. So we're going to have to keep an eye on those two charts. The GLD really didn't make a move today. That was surprising with the dollar down uh, 11 cents today. So let's keep an eye on this one. Right now, we're still in the same pattern, still kind of chopping around. Let's see what this gives us. Uh, Friday as the close and then into next week. We have the gap fill to fill down here, but I'm thinking, you know, this one starts to, just starts to bleed slowly. So if you're short, just trail your stop, enjoy the ride. If this comes back above the 20 and the 50 and starts making a run, then you better tighten that stop up for we can have a good uh, short squeeze on the dollar. So, all right, let's get into the TLT. TLT guys down a buck oh three today. Gosh, this week we talked about this area, half to hold. Look what they did. They gapped it below it so they didn't have to deal with it, and it came right back though. Low of the day was 123, guys. It closed at where did it close at? 123.46. So it had a nice little bounce off the bottom there. Closed below the MA. So now this one's getting a little bit weak. But look what we held, guys. This big trend line. That's key to this trade. 
that and this 618 big area for the retrace so let's see if this goes sideways or if this starts to go up higher bullish case you got to get back above the ma the 20 fill some gaps go for the uh, the uh, 52 week high right here at the 128.60 or so area if this starts chopping sideways gets below this trend line then we're probably going to start go heading down to the 120 area 120 and then this trend line here which you know one whatever 119 64 75 whatever that would be so watch for that right now it's not giving us too much a little bit oversold condition one two three four five six seven bars down um got it it's got to start moving up guys We're still making higher lows which is okay so still still bullish but back below the ma's it's a little less bullish or less bullish of a stance got to get back above guys and start ripping heads off so Watch this trend line. That's going to be key. And then we'll see what happens on the weekly close on the TLT. Volume was pretty good today, too. Nothing to, uh, you know, starting to pick up. So slowly going into that as the rest of the market's just staying a little bit buoyant. So watch for that. I'd like to go into the uh, GLD. Now, the GLD, guys, uh, right back up, right back down chopping in this area back below the ma's weak stance below the trend line we talked about this big trend line but look what it's doing guys i mean we didn't confirm came back trying to make a little run today it was only a couple pennies down so no nothing big but um gosh gotta see if this thing comes right back in guys because th this could have been the head fake here because everyone think oh my gosh it's below the trend line oh this is going to be a disaster the big area for me at least is 115.57. We get below that, then we can possibly go lower. Nah, that's not a gap fill, but that little pivot here around 114 we could definitely go to. But let's see. I want to see a little more push. I want to see a close above this little wick there around 116.89 or so. Close above 117, then we'll be in pretty good shape. Still need to recapture the trend line. But once we get past that, we could possibly go higher prices. Right now, though, bullish or bearish consolidations down here. This thing's got to start going if you're bullish. Like I said, we've been in here since 110.60 area. We did take half off here on this trade. We're still in a half position here, so let's see what we get. I'm hoping we get uh, a little more of a push. We close above that uh, 117 area, and then we can possibly see some higher prices. So just stick with the trade if you're long. Let's see what we get in the next week or so. If this starts breaking down, then we might have to exit, wait for lower prices. We'll go long, we'll go long gold again. It's not a big deal. It's not going to hurt my feelings. GDXJ. So this one, guys, a little bit weaker. You know, we, we were following JNUG. The big area on this one was this trend line here, and we did get below that. So, And it looks like at this point we did close below this. Oh, no, we got back. No, so it did. Not yet. So we haven't confirmed on this one yet. So it's looking a little bit weak. Again, we start getting below this. We're still making higher lows. Uh, actually, no. We kind of got rid of that pattern right here and this and okay so so get rid of that but we are back below this a little bit of a head and shoulder nothing great but if this pattern plays out we've been watching this area right here 2743 that's where i'll get interested in the gdxj so you know you get small bounces like this you're a prop trader or what have you you're taking profits right there you're not messing around you go from 29 you know to 34 that's a pretty good trade boom done comes back in boom done comes back in now you might be short up here enjoying the ride down because you might be going to 2743 so you go there though people will start covering to possibly bounce up so watch for that all right guys so the gdxj it's a little bit weak below the ma's but uh, let's see what this thing brings us in the next uh close or a weekly close tomorrow and then let's see what we get uh into the following week next week uh maybe a couple more days on this chart but a little bit weak i'd like to see it above at least the 20 and the 50 so you, you just gotta you just gotta see where this thing plays out you know it goes up and down it's a trading vehicle like the amds and stuff like that so let's keep an eye on this one let's see if we get back above the ma's shoot for the 200 and then continue going if this thing starts to slip you're looking at 27.43 so all right guys if you like these videos stockbookie.com sign up it's free go to youtube subscribe and i really do appreciate you stopping by watching my videos god bless see you on the charts